Hi, it's Felix and welcome back to Zero Escape's second game, Virtue's Last Reward. At the end of the last episode, Clover explained to us about the organisation she's now part of with a load of the other espers from the first Nonary game and how she got to know Alice and some sort of terrorist attack that may be happening. We may also have found out who the frozen people were, so we're assuming at the moment that Sigma, Clover and Alice uh, could have been the people that were frozen. And will everyone else maybe lying to us? So that's obviously helpful. Uh, the way we last, like where we got to the end of the last episode, Clover was trying to figure out unclean. She said that the terrorist attack was meant to like purify the unclean. So we will continue from that and we will figure out, well, we'll hope to find out what she's figured out anyway. I'm this close to remembering. Unclean. Clean. Een. Een. Een! Well, I didn't expect her to come up with that. She leapt up suddenly excited. Neostigmine! Neo what? Did you forget it already? No, I didn't. I remember it was a word I couldn't say. I'm talking about this stuff. As she spoke, she pulled something out of her pocket. Oh. It was an injection gun complete with a vial of medis oh, medication. Oh, right, I remember that. It was in the safe in the treatment centre, right? Yeah! Didn't have any idea what it was, though. So I gave it to you. Exactly! Are you saying you've heard about this neostigmine stuff before? Yeah, that's what I'm saying! I just remembered! Wait. You remembered? My brother told me about that. Neostigmine is a type of colon esterase inhibitor. I still don't know what that is! That means it's a sort of antidote for tubocurine! Okay. Um, sorry, but I still don't get it. How easy do I have to make it? It's a bit more. Ugh. Okay, fine. I'll start at the top, alright? The stuff I've got in here is neostigmine, which counteracts the muscle relaxant tubocurine. Following me? Sure. Tubercurine is the poison in our bracelets, right? Right. It's the second thing we get injected with if we're penalized. First, is this over real? Which would you sleep? Nine minutes later, the tubercurine is injected, numbing your respiratory muscles. I guess you could say it'll really take your breath away. So you're saying this neostigmine keeps it from working? Yes! Oh my god! How many times are you going to make me say it? One more enough. So we can just inject ourselves with this if we get penalised? Yeah! Okay, I want it. Give it. <laughs> we don't have to die. But, like... There doesn't look to be a lot there. We need it enough for all of us. We're gonna be okay! We can only pull the trigger once though. Great, so we can only save one person. We might only need to save one, but... Hmm. That means we can only use it on one person. Yeah. Right, let's happy. Well... It's still good news. This means one of us can break the rules once. Yeah, but we would need to make sure we've got it the right time. Like, let's see. Best way to use it would be for sneaking through the number nine door. So, like, we get 
eight of our numbers over nine and one person still under, we can use it on that one person. That's not that If somebody gets nine points. Yeah, but if we're going to use it on one person, the other eight can't sneak through. This stuff. Somebody who doesn't have nine points could still leave with them. Hmm. Anyway, I'm gonna go tell Alice. Oh, I don't think you should. I think we should keep that bit of information to ourselves for now. What? Hey! Clover, wait! Clover! It's too late. Clover was already on the lift and gone. Great, and now someone's going to hear about this and take it from her and... Oh, it's such a mess. She's such an idiot. She's not matured at all. Damn. We shouldn't have left her with it. I was, I think, understandably upset. With no stairs, my only choice was to wait for the lift to come back down. As soon as it was back, I jumped on and headed upstairs. But, you know, for too late, because she's miles away by now. Uh, are you okay? Why? Where did Clover go? Uh, what? Bye. Can you hear me? She didn't say anything, just stared at me with her mouth half open. Her eyes seemed slightly glazed and her body was unnaturally stiff. Uh, Fi? I grabbed her shoulder and shook her gently. Slowly she raised her arm, fingers drooping lonely from it. She gestured towards the exit that led away from the warehouse. That way? She went out that door. Fai's only answer was a slow shell or not. It kind of feels really awful to leave Fai. Like, I know we have to go after Clover, but... Are you okay, Fai? Right, got it. Thanks. I headed for the exit, then paused. You look pretty tired. Get some rest, alright? Still no response. There was something odd about her, but catching Clover seemed like more of a priority. I turned back around and jogged out the door towards the treatment centre. So far to go, we will get there in time. This is weird. Where is everybody? I'd assumed Alice would be in the treatment centre, so Clover would have gone there to find her. But... The room was empty. Luna and Tamioji were gone too. They'd left Quark and the readout on his pod said his vital signs were still normal. As far as I could tell, he was still asleep. Fine. This is time to go look somewhere else. I made my way out of the treatment centre.
What the hell? What's going on here? I can't find anybody. This single room is empty. Wait. There's still one place I haven't checked. The infirmary. I ran into the room and stopped short. There's a weird room. Might as well have run into a brick wall. My chest tightened so much I could barely breathe. No. What, what happened? I felt my whole body convulse. Whether from terror or nausea, I couldn't tell. My legs went limb and I crumbled to the floor. Something sticky pressed against the palm of my hand, and I looked down to see blood. A vast, warm pool of fresh blood, stretching out across the room, lapping at my legs and hands. Why? This can't be real. How could... What happened? In the middle of the lake of blood, like an island of flesh, were bodies. Who's the only one that's not there? So we still didn't find Kay. Like, we went everywhere and we didn't find K. So, well, K didn't have nine. He couldn't have got through the ninth door. And why are they all in the same room? Wait, is... How's fire, though? Because we just left, obviously she was acting really weird and we did a bit of running around everywhere so it was probably possible for her to get here before us. But why did she come here too and then what? I'm confused, what happened? So it seems like Quack's still in the pod but Kay has disappeared but somehow Fi got to the same room as everyone else without us seeing her and she's dead too. They were a bloody tangle of lifeless limbs and dead eyes with too much blood and chaos for me to tell who was who. Had they sliced themselves open? Or stabbed one another? But then that also made me think, well, were they all infected, like Quark? Because he was going a bit crazy. But I still find it weird that... Why was he? Like, we were just with her. And I don't get out all in the same room, especially when we know Luna, Alice and Temioji would have been with Quark in the treatment centre. So I'm very confused by the scene. I couldn't tell. All the blood. Too much blood. Whatever they'd done, it was clear what toll they'd used to do it. Scalpel lay in the blood next to them, his handle and blood streaked with gore. This was how they died. This tiny blade. Oh god. This is it. It's all over. This is how it ends. That's right. I have to end it. This nightmare will finally be over. And to... Wake up. My fingers scraped across the floor as I picked up the scalpel. I lifted it slower, carefully, to my neck, as if someone were guiding my hand with theirs. I drew it across my throat.
Hova N. I wonder why it's Clover End though. Either way, I tried my hardest not to laugh through the credits because I think it was not funny anyway. I shouldn't be laughing, but that's not what I'm laughing at. I'm just seriously amused that the first time I played the first game, nine hours, nine persons, nine dollars, the first ending I got was where everyone died. So I'm just really amused that I did the same thing again, pretty much. And I seriously know nothing about these games. I'm not intentionally choosing worst to best endings. This this is just how it's happening, and I'm so amused that I keep doing it. <laughs> but I have no idea how I'm doing it. So, <laughs> like, it's not funny. Like, we all died. It was awful. Oh. Um, if anyone has, uh, like, been affected by that ending, I I know that suicides uh quite a hard subject for some people. So, if that has affected anyone. Then I am sorry. Um, feel free to vent in the comments. I don't mind. Um, I'll listen to anyone that needs to talk. Um, so I'll just give us a sec there, and then we can um, go back and do the betray ending with Quack, which I'm going to feel absolutely awful about. But it needs to be done, we're going to get all the endings done. Um, so, we'll take a deep breath and we will continue. Okay, so there's nine pictures as well. Now we've got the clover one there which is the sixth one along so I didn't actually count how many endings they'd be but it looks like there might be nine endings and we get a different picture for each person so maybe that's why it's a clover ending and instead of like actually naming them like on the uh, first game they had like a safe ending and a knife ending there's like an axe ending and things so maybe they just thought well we'll name them the people instead of actually giving them titles I guess okay so We'll jump here. <laughs> no, okay, that's a terrible joke. Um, yeah, and then I said we will. We'll then go choose the betrayer, which I'm not looking forward to betraying. Oh, we can't. We can't just leave this ending, not do it, or do it last, just because. Um. Uh, just because, like, we we don't want to betray a little kid, but uh, skip ahead. One minute. Please choose ally. <laughs> if I try, I don't think I'm so. <laughs> the the club was gonna hit us for choosing betray, but well, I was gonna say we we can't really get a worse ending than that. Actually, the next ending might be worse. <laughs> So, I said that was the last time we chose the ally and it did not Ten go well. So, we will betray. Hopefully at least get out of here. That's got to be a bit of a better ending than Three, killing two, ourselves. One. So, we will betray. We'll betray poor ill child unconscious Quark. And I feel really awful, but I can't figure out if it's because we just betrayed him or I'm still reeling from the last ending. Results. Okay, we'll be, we'll be fine. We can get through this. Thank you for your participation. Ambidex Gates. Now opening. Everyone's gonna hear us. <laughs> All the time, everyone's gonna hear us. us. I will mean, get through it. What did you choose, Sigma? Oh, you'll find out. <laughs> you didn't see me push no. the button. 
You won't be smiling if you did. Hmm. Well, you'll know in a moment. <laughs> what you want to do after that is up to you. You can come with me if you want. Or you can stay here. <laughs> that is like indirectly telling her we chose Betray, we're now going to get nine. And we're either going to leave or you can stay, but... Oh. Your choice. That's as good as saying you chose Betray. Yeah, um, we did. We, we, we did choose Betray. I'm so sorry, everyone. We did. We chose Betray. <laughs> I grinned and headed towards the display. <laughs> Okay, he's clearly not giving a damn about anyone here. It's like this is like a total badass attitude right now. <laughs> so bad. Like, <laughs> oh, I did choose betray, and you can make do with it what you will. But I'm sure as hell getting out of here. <laughs> Okay, I love it. It's good. It's so good. Results from round two of the Ambidex game will now be displayed. I do still really hope someone else uh, betrayed as well, though, just so I don't feel even worse about it. I already feel bad about it. Okay. Please direct your attention to the results screen. <laughs> no! No! <laughs> no! Oh! Oh no! We're so assholes! <laughs> I'm so sorry! Like, I know I have to do all the endings, but I'm so sorry! This is awful. It's like, how could I do that to a little kid? What's wrong with me? <sighs> so, no, I can't cope with this. I just feel so awful every time. <laughs> okay. It's fine. It's not fine. But it's fine. I'm so sorry, Quark. I can't even cope with myself right now. I, I hate myself. <laughs> I really do. Okay. I just know everyone is going to hate me. Like, I know, thankfully, we didn't kill Quark doing that. But it, it doesn't make me feel any better about it. And I feel even worse that we're upsetting Demiurgy so much <laughs> and it's like I've really not got over betraying him the first time it's insane as that sounds <sighs> we're hoping for a better ending than the last one and if we're getting to see more of this Sigma the, with this amusing attitude then great so <laughs> Calmly continue. Points have been assigned or subtracted accordingly. Please check your bracelet to see your updated bracelet points. Okay. What did you do, Clover? Yes, blame Clover. It was Clover's fault. Exactly. I had nothing to do with this. 
Nope. Oh. Uh, yeah, just go blaming Clover. That's what we'll do. <laughs> Sorry. You shouldn't have trusted me. You should not have trusted me. It wasn't me. Oh! So she is gonna throw me under a bus. Okay. Thanks. Sigma, huh? Yeah. Yeah, but now, no, it's a good job we have nine because everyone now knows that they really can't trust us because we betrayed Temiodi and then we betrayed Quark, this poor defenseless kid that wasn't even there. It's like, we would be stupid to stay with the nine because someone's gonna murder us, probably. Yeah. Wait, why is she smiling? Seriously, someone has totally screwed up with like giving expressions because she shouldn't be smiling this much. Care to explain this then? Um, well, put simply, I did originally choose ally, but then I found out it was an awful, awful route to take. So I went back in time and thought this might be better. If it doesn't work, I'm then going to go even further back in time and not betray Tenmyoji. Is that good enough? You don't believe me, do you? Okay. Maybe I'm just not a nice person. What's there to explain? It's exactly what it looks like. I'm getting out of here. What? So long, losers. Are you going with him, Clover? I don't think she will. I... So oh, actually she might, just because she didn't want to stay either, but... I... Hmm. Don't know. When they all turned to look at Clover, I made my move. Yeah, obviously. My feet pounded across the metal floor of the warehouse as I ran to the number nine door. Hey, wait! No, I'm getting out of here before you kill me. You'd have to do better than shout if you wanted to stop me. It was closer. I was almost there. I took one last run and leap. And slammed into the wall, the unlocking device right in front of me. With a yell of triumph, I threw the lever down. We should be really thankful that it did actually open because it could have just been a trick and go, actually. It doesn't work like that, and now everyone hates you, so ha! Huh? The door began to open. A heavy metallic grinding noise filled the room. Shit! That son of a bitch actually did it! Goodbye! His voice sounded almost surprised. I turned to face him. Sorry. But it looks like this is goodbye. Sigma. Don't worry. I'll go to the police as soon as I get out and come back with help. I do not believe that, especially when I'm doing that voice. <laughs> Maybe I'd make it more believable if I kept talking normally for him. But this is way more amusing. I'm not going to just leave you all here to die. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I am. Don't give me that shit. <laughs> okay, just believe me. I know a liar when I see one. Oh, do you look in the mirror often? Actually, it probably does. Really? Maybe you should get your eyes checked. Are you guys just gonna let him run off like this? You have a choice? No way. Bye bye. Yeah, but if you guys come through the door, then you don't have a nine. Ooh. Allow that. Bye bye. He took advantage of a sick kid. Yeah, I, I do feel bad about that, but bye bye. He's just a coward. <laughs> yes, I am. Let me go. The strong guys can stay and figure this out the better way, but I'm taking this way out. <laughs> Agreed. I also agree. That's it then. Let's get him. Ready? Yeah. He's toast. Just leave it to us. <laughs> hey now, don't do anything you'll regret. This door only opens once, you know. If you stop me, then... 
give it up. Charge! <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Sheep. I spun back around to face the dark. There it was, right in front of me. Freedom! I leapt for it. Or at least I tried. Yeah, but the lock is next to the door. How can it be that far away from it? Like he should have just been able to slide under it. Bye, guys. It happened in the blink of an eye. Suddenly, my cheek was being pressed against the cold, still floor of the warehouse. The number nine door has been opened. It will remain open for nine seconds. Sheep. Let me go. Let me let go of me, goddammit. I could feel something huge, heavy and metal pressed against my back. Kay had to be holding me down. I failed and kicked, but it didn't do any good. What are you doing? You're just killing yourselves. The door only opens once if I don't... I know. Go, Clover. Yeah, I knew you'd do that. But I don't want to stay with you guys. You all hate me now. Huh? You're the only one of us with 9 BP. Nobody else can get out. But this is an order from your commanding officer. You are to escape from this facility. Once you've accomplished that, call for help. That's... Stop complaining and go. If that door closes, it's all over. None of us will get out of here alive. Leave! Why is she questioning it? Just go. I would, but I'm not allowed. Because no one trusted that I'd come back with help. I wouldn't, but that's not the point, dear. The door had already begun to close. The space was narrowing quickly, but was still wide enough for a single person to make it through. You didn't leave me much choice. I couldn't see what had happened, but I heard enough to guess. Alice had shoved Clover through the door. Looking up, I could see Clover's feet just behind the doorway. Go! Call for help! Thanks for trapping me with you guys. That was a good plan. I guess I'm getting eaten first when we don't get out of here. Thank you for your participation. Oh, piss off. <laughs> As the game is over, all doors other than the number nine door have been unlocked. Escape is not possible. Great, but at least we can go sit in that lounge. Anyone joining me for a cup of tea now? You're not going to join me for a cup of tea now. You all hate me. I'm annoying. Now we actually have some time to relax and no one's going to want to join me for a cup of tea in the lounge. And I have no friends. So. Well, this should title the achievement for this ending. The No Friends route. That's, that's definitely what it feels like. Please enjoy your stay. Yeah, not much of a stay. Like, it's a stay if we've just gone to a hotel, but this isn't a stay. We now live here. Game over. <laughs> it's not even like an end. It's just game over. You're done. What's that?
that wasn't supposed to I'm guessing this to happen. We can look at all the trophies from later anyway, but <sighs> game over. Well, as I said before, now we'll have to go back and go back to where we'll make the choice with Temioji. And we'll pick I instead of Betray. And then we can finish that other route. Um let's see and get the uh well since that wasn't like an end we won't actually get uh, an icon for that one so there's going to be more endings than what we get icons for um let's just quickly yeah we'll have a look at it so there's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen okay so i'm guessing every one of them We'll have an icon and just um, an end. I'm guessing then because then they'll have the nine. Okay. Yeah, so it's pointless like starting another eye because we'll just finish the episode in a minute. So I'll come back up to here and we'll do the ally ending. But then we'll have two choices, so we'll do all of them on one and then obviously we'll do both on you again and when we do the side we'll do um so we'll finish the um yellow doll route and then we'll either do the sign or magenta i don't know which one's which um but yeah so this is quite a bit longer but as i said before the ending the true ending of the first game started off like this and then went all the way down so that might be the ending we actually want but i'm curious what we learn on these two by the way i said i don't know which one's the sign and which one's the magenta so i, I don't even know which one i'd be picking so try to get it so yeah we managed to get two endings finished we managed to all die pretty much and then get trapped with people that hate us. Whether Clover actually, well, I imagine Clover would have tried to go get help, but we don't know what the situation's like outside of this building, so. It may not have been a good end in there either. But we'll, well, we'll find out when we do one of these endings. Something will tell us what it's like out there. But we'll have to save that for another day. So, for now, I'm going to end this episode here. I thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it and I will see you next time. Bye.